Go ahead, Kelly. Did the company, uh, did the, did the, uh, once the company informed the administration about the timing of the problems at the plant, there's so much focus from uh, this White House about transparency. Was there an obligation to speak about this earlier than acknowledging today that you knew last week? Well, I think it's important for people to remember that uh, this, um, uh, this plant has not been FDA approved. Um, it's still going through a rigorous review. Uh, and J&J uh, &J is, of course, working through that process to bring the facility online and gain authorization. So HHS updated us. In fact, this is probably the process working as it should. HHS updated us on J&J's manufacturing, including where things stood with the facility uh, at the point where they learned about the issue. It wasn't going to impact our supply. It wasn't going to impact the supply to the American people. And of course, J&J uh, &J is working through this with the FDA. So uh, we'd certainly refer to them on the process. On the infrastructure climate jobs plan, the president also talked about inviting Republicans to the Oval Office. Yeah. Given the comments from his longtime friend Mitch McConnell, do we have that on the books yet? And uh, do you anticipate that there is any legitimate room to move? Uh, or is the White House really settling into the idea that this will be a Democrats only push in order to accomplish this big priority? Well, we just announced the proposal yesterday. There's a long history of agreement on infrastructure and the need to invest in infrastructure, the need to take steps to be more competitive with China. We feel there are a lot of areas of agreement. And the president will certainly be inviting Republicans and Democrats here to the Oval Office to have discussions and meetings about the path forward to hear their ideas. There are some differences between the ARP. The ARP, uh, the American Rescue Plan, was an emergency package. We needed to get it done as quickly as possible to get the pandemic under control, get relief direct checks out to Americans. We've got a little bit more time here to work and have discussions with members of both parties. We want to see progress by Memorial Day. We'd like to see this package passed by the summer. But I certainly expect when Congress returns that the president will be inviting members to the Oval Office. And when you consider that timeline, um Certainly there are Democrats, especially the most progressive Democrats, who would like to see uh, the ability to get this done quickly in order to touch on some of the other priorities that are in different topic mm -hmm. areas. Is there a real sense, though, that you can work with Republicans when the leader says there will be no support, when the House Republican leader, Kevin McCarthy, says we love infrastructure, but we don't like this tax idea? Uh, is there any room left? I think that's a question for them. They, they support investment in infrastructure, right? They, they believe we need to do more to compete with China. Uh, maybe they don't believe we should pay for it. If so, they should say that. Maybe they have different alternative ideas. Uh, there have been some proposals out there about user fees or uh, gas taxes, essentially. Uh, we don't agree with that. We don't believe that the cost should be on the backs of the American people. Uh, we believe that corporations uh, should be able to bear the brunt for investing in America's workers. Uh, but they can come forward with their ideas. We believe we can start from a place where we agree.